I received a tweet. Uh, I want to say it's sometime last month. Uh, from a someone who's been following my, I don't know, my tweets and extension videos and stuff. I don't know. I have, I have a few followers. It's kind of neat. Um, he commented that uh, he thought that this was pretty neat looking. What you're looking at here is an article on my GDPR site where I have moved the article index out of the Joomla article and into a module position over here. Um, you can see. Normally it would be in this position like, like right here. It would, it would fill this area. It would push all the content down. It would squish the squish these paragraphs over to fill a column about this wide. You know, so this this paragraph wouldn't be this tall. That that, that paragraph would be like this tall. You know, it, it would be all the way down to here. So it it, it squishes it all down, and it, it really it really makes the articles flow really weird, especially if you have images in them and stuff. They 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 look super weird. Um, so, uh, I wrote this, it's, it's only a couple of lines of code, really, to move the article index from the, uh, from the article over here into this module. And, uh, I, my reply to the guy that tweeted me was, you know, something about, I'll, I'll turn it into a product and, and sell it. You know, it'll be available for sale, but I got to thinking about it. That'd be kind of jerky since it's only a couple of lines of code. I I, I used to give away everything for free, and, and now I'm I'm selling a bunch of stuff, so I kind of feel guilty to sell the super simple stuff. So I'm giving this away, uh, and this is only going to take you about five minutes to do. If you follow my instructions, I'm I'm putting uh, an article on my website with the actual code, uh, and step-by-step -step instructions along with this video which is kind of your your visual walkthrough to show you how easy it is to do uh, we are two minutes and 26 seconds into this video and uh, i believe we're going to be done by seven minutes so five minutes first thing you do is go to richieweb.com and search for head tag that's one word head tag download the head tag plugin and install it enable it and you're going to configure it to process content tags. You're going to turn this one setting on to yes. Save and close. Don't worry about head tag. It is free. You don't have to buy anything. Once you have installed, enabled, and configured head tag, go into extensions and modules and create a brand new custom module. The type is custom. When you create this custom module, I would suggest that you title it article index and then show title set that to hide you're gonna to need to know where in your template you're gonna want the article index to to display so uh, that's something you're gonna to want to know in advance or I guess you could stick it anywhere and figure it out later you know, whatever so uh, if you know where it's gonna be put it in that position on this this template that I'm using it goes in position 7 you're gonna to want to go to menu assignment and on some sites I put it to display on all pages um, because we have the title set to hide the rest of the module will will display nothing on pages that don't have an article index so I would suggest setting it to all pages if you know specifically where your article indexes are going to show up on on this site they all show up in in the implementation guides I don't have them anywhere else so if you know where they're going to be you can set the menu items that way if you if you know if not I would suggest do all pages that way you can just use article indexes whenever and they'll show up in the module position uh, you're going to want to go to the options tab select prepare content set that to yes Go to the Advanced tab, set the module style to HTML5. Later, you may want to experiment with, with other module styles, but for now, I would suggest HTML5 because it will collapse out of your way when you have no article index. 
And that's that's it for configuration. Uh, then there is the content. Now don't bother trying to copy this out of the video. Don't 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 pause it and and try to type this because that would suck and I wouldn't do that to you. Um, what you're going to do, you're going to toggle editor and you're going to find this article. It's going to be linked. If you're not if you're not watching this on my website, it's the article is going to be linked from the YouTube video page. Uh, you are going to copy this code from my website from the article page that, that, that describes this process. This code will be there. You're going to copy and paste it after you toggle the editor off. Copy it and paste it here. And then save and close. And that's it. Once you have done that, the only the only possible remaining step is for you to position the article index within within that module position. In fact, we're at six minutes and eleven seconds now, so for three and a half minutes it takes to configure this thing. I mean it's nothing. It's nothing. Um so yeah, the only thing you may have to do is to set the uh, the order of your modules to make sure that your article index is at the top. And mine is not. Why is mine not at the top? So now it is. That's it. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and explain exactly what this code does so that you understand. Um, it's super easy. When the document is ready, uh, I've got, uh, I'm grabbing the element that contains the article index into a variable, and then I am identifying the mod article index target, which is part of this part of this code that you copied and pasted. It's right here. It's, and it's taking that article index and injecting it, pardon me, not injecting it, moving it from the article into the module. And then it, and then it sets the width of that element to 100% so that it fits in the module full width. That's it. That's all it does. It's a couple lines of JavaScript. In fact, you don't even have to have head tag to do this. If you were to just create this module with this div and then and then copy just the JavaScript code, not the head tag portion, but just just the JavaScript code into your template, into your, your module template, into a into a script element, then you could do this without head tag. I like head tag because I mean like I wrote it, you know, so I dig it. I wrote it for me and then I gave it to you. So it's it's free, so why not use it? Anyway, uh that's it. That's the whole configuration. And that's the whole explanation on how it works and what it does. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna finalize this video and get it up onto YouTube and then uh make a, make all my linking back and forth and then I'm gonna go tweet to my follower and, and tell him where he can find the instructions on how to do it. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. hope it helps you out on your websites.